what's the link between the Kennedy assassination and the terrorist attack in Moscow? None, unless you're Russia, because they're claiming they're totally linked. So the Russian foreign ministry is keep trying to push this lie that the Ukrainians were behind the attack on Moscow on Friday. As you guys know, about 137 or more people were killed, uh, civilians in a shopping mall when uh, terrorists, at least four of them, came in with uh, automatic weapons, opened fire. Uh, the concert was about to start. There were at least 6,000 people in the concert hall, so it was a big deal. Um, really bad terrorist attack. ISIS claimed responsibility. Uh, the U.S. intelligence has confirmed that it likely was ISIS. Uh, Institute for Study of War has confirmed it likely was ISIS. So the Russians say, got to be Ukraine. Um, interestingly enough, the Ukraine claim got shut down this weekend by the Belarusians because uh, Putin claimed like, oh, the terrorists were heading for the Ukrainian border and you know, Zelensky gave them an open path or some BS like that. Uh, the Belarusians came out trying to claim credit and said, oh, no, they were heading for our border and they were going to cross, but we stopped them at the last minute. The Belarusians are Russia's ally in the war. Uh, another dictatorship. Oh, but we stopped them at the last minute. <laughs> Which, you know, good for the Belarusians, but totally took away Moscow's line that they weren't heading for the Belarusian border, they were heading for the Ukrainian border because they were in cahoots with the Ukrainians, right? So anyway, uh, the Russian foreign ministry has been going after the U.S. on this, saying, you know, don't be so sure it was ISIS and this kind of stuff, right? Everything's ISIS. Well, now they throw, they're throwing out JFK. So uh, the Russian foreign ministry is saying that our analysis of it being ISIS should not be trusted because we haven't even solved the Kennedy assassination. Listen to this. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova says, if only the America could sort out the assassination of their own President Kennedy so quickly, as quickly as we figured out it was ISIS, she means. But no, for more than 60 years, they have not been able to find out who killed him. Maybe it was ISIS too. Or will they delay for another 60 years with specifics, playing with any constructive uncertainty? Again, the, the Russians always use this language that isn't quite English, and you're always kind of going, guys, how many years have you been fighting us? Like, you can't at least find somebody who speaks fluent English. Um, uh, she then goes on, oh, and then blames it on Kiev again. Her final statement fi uh, uh, references what she calls the financing of the terrorist activities of the Kiev organized crime group by American liberal Democrats. Oh, my God. Um, you know, yeah, Russia is desperate to make this about Ukraine. Uh, they don't want to be about ISIS. Part of the problem is that the U.S. and the Brits warned the Russians two weeks ago, or two weeks before the attack. Uh, we told them that an imminent uh, attack, uh, basically an attack looked imminent in the next 48 hours. Uh, we talked about a concert hall. The Brits put out a warning as well. We told the Russians under international law there's a duty to warn, and we do warn each other. The Russians warned us about uh, Tsarnyev, one of the two brothers that was involved in the Boston Marathon bombing. They warned us about him previously as being a terrorist. So these are things we do to each other, which is good. We warn each other. But... They are hell-bent on making this about Ukraine, and there's just no evidence of it. Um, and our oh, final point here, because we warned them, and then three days before the attack, Putin issues a statement. It's in TAS. I mean, I have the whole statement. Uh, calling it blackmail, which is really weird. Our warning was blackmail and a lie, and it's, you know, it's just not true that, um, that, that Moscow is going to be attacked or whatever. And, of course, then three days later, uh, carnage. So... Putin is incredibly embarrassed. Uh, he likes to be a strong man. I mean, he is a dictator. It is an authoritarian state. And the worst thing you can be in an authoritarian state is, a, is perceived as weak. And he is weak because we warned him and he let the attack go through anyway. So he's got to change the blame to blaming us and to blaming the Ukrainians. So there you go.